I'm really excited to tell you about the newest edition of Psychology in Your Life. As always, we have the focus on three things, teaching, learning, and improving. To support teachers with all their various backgrounds and philosophy and years of experience, we've developed the HIP Guide. This provides information in various sections based on what research suggests will help teachers teach in the best way possible to support student learning. We've also paired this HIP Guide with actual teaching resources that demonstrate how to use those best practices in reality in the classroom. Because just like teachers aren't all the same, students aren't all the same. So we've provided a wide variety of tools to help teachers teach students of diverse backgrounds and preparedness. All of the research has been updated in the newest edition of Psychology in Your Life, and all the visuals, the photographs, and the graphics are meant to show how diverse the population is. So our diverse students, when they look at the book, they'll see themselves in the photographs, and they'll be able to apply the material to themselves as well. Also, psychology research tells us that we have to increase active learning when students are reading. So we've increased comprehension questions throughout and added self-quizzes at the end of the chapter. Students also get to see how psychology can help them in their future careers through the Putting Psychology to Work features. The concept videos are a great new way to help students understand difficult concepts in psychology. These are short animated videos that explain concepts based on their presentation in a real world situation. They also apply the idea of active learning because at the end of each concept video, there's a short question for students to answer. Teachers can then engage students in active learning in a face-to-face -face class or in an online environment to ask them to come up with answers to the question. In this way, the concept videos put into practice what the research suggests about how to improve student learning through active learning processes. To make sure that students really are learning about psychology, we've embedded assessments in the textbook, in all of the teaching support tools, in the course pack material, and online homework tools. To make sure that my students are engaged when I'm presenting material in class, I use the active learning PowerPoints. I also give grades for correct answers to the comprehension questions that are embedded in those active learning PowerPoints. This is another way I can make sure that students are really learning the material. The same active learning PowerPoints can be used in online and hybrid environments by asking students to submit answers to the comprehension questions in either a discussion board or as a homework in your online or hybrid class. Some students really require additional practice with the material, and the inquisitive online homework tool is a wonderful way to do this. Over the course of several days, students can repeatedly engage with the material in Inquisitive until they get a 100% mastery grade. What I'm most excited about in the new edition is the fact that we have stuck to the important three pieces of teaching, learning, and improving, and found ways to use research in psychology to help support improvements in all three of the areas, in the textbook, in the HIP guide, in the teaching resource tools, and in the embedded assessment.